Hi, I'm Nat Wallen. I have been a real estate agent here in Charleston, South Carolina since 1995, and I've lived here my whole life. I run the real estate website here at natwallen.com, and a lot of people watch my videos on YouTube that are trying to get familiar with the area. Now, it's pretty quiet in my house right now because, well, it's very early in the morning, so I have to keep it down. The kids are asleep. I live in a neighborhood called Sandhurst, which is along the Ashley River in West Ashley. My neighbor Donnie Smith invited me to go fishing with him today. And if you're wondering what to do when you move here, you should definitely watch this whole video. Living on the coast is amazing, and you'll learn a lot about fishing in this 10-minute video today. The Ashley River, it's literally right in our backyard. So join me and Donnie, and let's see if we can catch a big spot-tailed bass today. It's a beautiful morning, and from what Donnie says, the fish are biting. And oh yeah, before I go, please make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, and don't forget to click the bell so you can get notified of the next video. You'll find a very comprehensive tour of the entire Charleston area there, so if you want to get to know your way around, that will help, and I'll link it at the end of this video. You'll also see there's a link to a self-guided tour that will take you around the area with your GPS, so you can take the tour of Charleston on your own. All right, let's go fishing with Donnie. I got a couple of quick things I got to get together, and then I'm going to head out the door. So come on. And what is tailing? Ah, uh, when the redfish feeding in the grass, wagging his tail all over the place outside of the water. I see. A couple inches, six to 12 inches of water. I'll see you on the dock. Just do your thing, Donnie. And away we go. The jetty junkie. <laughs> It looks like we're at 11 feet. Yeah, just cutting across the river. This uh, this unit is made by Garmin. It's a side scan unit. So when you find structure, you see it over here in the orange. The black is what's directly underneath the boat. I see. All those little ridges. Structure meaning perhaps a sunken boat or something. Submerged trees, oysters, boats. We've got the sailboat down here just a little bit further down the Ashley that's been derelict <laughs> it's just a collector yep fish like to congregate there mm -hmm. working structure is a great way to catch fish in the summer usually use them bait but this morning since it's so calm we've got artificials hopefully do some sight fishing awesome looking for anything that swims So tell me, I know, I know you don't want to give away your secret spot, but um, general <laughs> idea, what are we getting ready to do? Well, as it gets shallower, I'll just cruise in, turn the motor off. And we're going to start pushing around. Best way to find and fish in shallow water is to find shallow water and then pick up a push pole. It's 21 feet long and I'm trying to remember what... Uh, <laughs> Stu App said about push poles. Something about finding fish. <laughs> yeah. When you have an early morning low tide, you obviously don't want to be in the creeks looking around for fish because they're not in the creeks. They're out here on the flats, on the banks of rivers, 
you know, shallow mud, shallow sand. And, uh, we'll quit around two hours after the incoming tide this morning, just because it'll be too deep to try and do any sight fishing. And that's when you pick up your bait rod, you start bait fishing all your structure, your deeper holes during the summer. <laughs> there go a whole bunch of fish right there. So the winter time doesn't uh, winter slow time, things. We get a lot of clear, clear water, yeah. so it allows you to sight fish for a longer period of time. So sight fishing is finding shallow water and pulling around looking for fish before you cast to them so you want to visually see the fish so you can control which way your lure goes what kind of presentation you make I'm throwing a top water lure currently uh, just because I'm having a hard time seeing these fish except for every now and then make a lot of fan casts but still technically sight fishing while I'm out here looking for looking for the fish itself actually swimming through the water. So you think you have a redfish on? Uh, yes, sir. I switched from that spoon we were throwing earlier to the, to the gulp shrimp. And he inhaled it. Music to my ears. Uh, this might be a nicer fish. Spinning the boat around. Uh oh. What's happening? Crab traps. Big fish. And here he comes. Nope. There he goes. Under the boat. So what's he doing? He's just trying to wear me out. <laughs> Got a war of attrition going on right now. I haven't even seen him yet. There he is. Yeah, that's a good looking fish. Shallow water. There he is. Pretty big. No slouch. That's a big fish. You never know. They usually kick real hard right here at the boat. Oh. <laughs> Don't lose it. Fish flop. <laughs> Round two. He's a grown one. And now he's tangled up a little bit. That's alright. I forgot to hit record. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Come oh, on. Man, it's shallow here, isn't it? Yes, sir. This doesn't take this long. They're just a big. Oh, man. Pretty color. Big pig. Got some blue in them. That is your overslot South Carolina spot tail bass. Nice. Slot on these fish is 15 to 23 inches. So slot. Explain that. So for a fish to be a legal kill fish, he's got to be within 15 to 23 inches but they don't taste that good anyways. Much better off catching trout for dinner, flounder for dinner. These guys are just a lot more fun to catch. Yeah, okay. So, I'm gonna let them go, I take it. Yes, sir. Do it very carefully. And that hook just falls right out. Such a pretty fish. 
Great job. And you can take my clients out to do this same thing, Donnie? <laughs> Absolutely. Well, if they love the fish, I love the fish as well. We're gonna get a, a weight on this guy. That is an 11 pound, give or take, redfish. Okay. That is a very nice fish. And back you go. You know, it does make sense to, if you're moving here, to uh, hook up with someone like Donnie here because there's just so much you can learn. I've, I've learned so much in the last hour just listening to him babble about the salt water. No offense, Donnie. <laughs> it's just babbling to me. <laughs> awesome. And there he goes. <laughs> run it up because my buddy almost pinned my arm between the trailer and the bow of the boat. Uh. Well done, partner. I enjoyed it. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> 